Hey everybody, Painblade back here again from Server One, representing ISC and Tribes Lab. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, so we did the Itachi showcase. Seems like a lot of interest has been now shifted over to him being actually a pretty good character. Uh, I also showed some people a new um, snapshot of his T damage uh, with the skill two, which was about 170 something K basic crit damage to a T character, which is insane. So guys, if you guys had any doubts about Itachi being a hard hitter. Hope I changed your mind, but today we're going to shift focus a little bit, guys, and we're going to look at the new limit breaks that have been released. And what I'm going to do quickly, guys, is just show you here. If you want to know which ones are, are there under the updates, if you looked under completed schedule maintenance, which is the new one on June the 29th, you can actually see who has been added in for the newest limit breaks that have been released. Now, there's been quite a few. As usual, you can see the R's are not there, but there are quite a few SR's and quite a few UR's now that now have the capabilities of breaking the Limit Break 2. Now, for those who are wondering how do you get a Limit Break 2 is you have to complete Limit Break 1, and then you have to have enough uh, fragments and weapon fragments in order to complete uh, Limit Break 2. So what I want to do, guys, is I just want to go through the Limit Breaks, which ones you guys should be focusing on, which ones are the best ones, which ones I've currently done at the moment, which I haven't been very many actually, uh, and and who you guys should uh, actually go ahead and Limit Break depending on um, their abilities and which ones are the best ones. So let's actually go through it. Uh, currently the only one I've actually done in game, I'm just going to go through my Shinobi list here, is my Sasuke Kirin. Now I think he has the best Limit Break 2 this time around, and I can show you real quick what it does. Just going to go into his skills and check out Absolute Authority. Now, originally what he did is he boosted all active allies' attack by 16.38%, but now they've also added in boosting all active damage increase rate by 17.92, which is insane. So um, he has now officially become the top uh, DPS support character. Um, and DPS stands for damage per second, so essentially your damage dealers. He is now easily the top. Now, I think this has propelled him to probably SS status, which in the tier rating he's currently S. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend, guys, that you guys get him up if you do have him. Now, you will need 19 of his fragments. Remember, you can use Omni Shards to get 19 of those if you have those kicking around. And you need, uh, I think it was 25 or 20, 20 to 25 weapon fragments. So those are a little harder to get. They come from the gold boxes at five of them per gold one, random. And they also come from the rainbow ones, which you can get, I believe, 15. Now, because he is on the Limit Break 2 list, his boxes, the boxes you're going to get are going to drop more often for him specifically, for, for Rainbow and B and Jiraiya, since they are the three major ones. Now, the other guys I haven't touched, but let's go through them anyways. Um, so I believe the other URs were Jiraiya and B. So let's go look at B's. Here we are. Now, if I go to his Limit Break... Now, I do have enough to get him up. I have enough of his weapon fragments, but I don't use B that often. So I'm not going to really focus on him right now. Uh, but I will tell you what it is at least. So this actually boosts own guard suppression rate if user is active at the start of the turn and lasts for the rest of the battle. So this is actually very impressive. Now, what this does is every turn he gets, he's going to boost his guard suppression rate. Now, if you watch my stats video, Guard Suppression Rate is actually the ability to bypass the Guard Rate ability. So characters like Gara and Sugetsu who have really high guard and provide that guard to other characters, this move here, or this trait here, will actually bypass it. Which means he's going to hit harder and he's going to get away from... He's going to get away from... Um, being guarded for all of his attacks which is very impressive for b because b lacks currently what b lacked right now is stats and if, if he ever did get guarded a lot of his damage gets nulled and that's all he really is he's a damage dealer with a stun so this is actually a very very good trait for him to have so highly recommend if you use b get this one up now let's see what else we have jiraiya i believe was the other one jiraiya jiraiya where are you there he is now, Jiraiya is a little lackluster, and the reason why I say that is because Jiraiya only gives himself Chakra. Now, this would have been impressive if he had enough Chakra to boost himself up to be able to do his Jutsu instantly, but it's not enough. So, it is still good for him, but it's not a necessity. He usually is paired with Tsunade, which allows him to do instant Jutsu, but this allows him to do it a little sooner 
um, more often, but it's still not enough to make an instant jutsu. So I don't really care too much about this one, but the stats are impressive. So that is one thing I highly recommend is is get them up just for the stats. But the actual the actual um, uh, the, the actual new trait isn't the make or break for him. So out of the three URs, he's probably the lowest one in in the in the list for usefulness. All right. So now we're gonna look at the SRs. Now I believe with the SRs, we had a Richimaru. Now his is actually pretty good. I actually like his a lot. And what the what his is, I'm just gonna go to it here, is lowering all active enemies crit suppression rate if the user is active at the start of the turn. Now this is impressive because it's not a skill two. The skill two on Dadara you actually have to connect with. With this, he just needs to be active and he lowers their crit suppression rate, which means you're gonna actually bypass people's ability to block crit and you're gonna be able to crit more often with this with this trait. The Rich Amaro is already one of the best CC characters in the game. This just adds more utility to him, which makes him even more deadlier. So highly, highly recommend, guys, if you have him, get this up as soon as you can. Next one. I, another really impressive one. Now, I's one is interesting because he wasn't one of the tankier um, characters in the game, but now he actually does have the ability to boost damage reduction rate for all attack shinobi for the rest of the battle. That's very impressive. The reason why it's impressive is for the rest of the battle and it's all attack shinobi. So if you're a nuke heavy and you have him who's already a D nuker, you're now giving yourself the ability to boost damage reduction rate for the whole battle. So not just when he's active, just in general, it's just available to you, which is super impressive. So I think he has the best SR upgrade this time around compared to anybody else before with mama sakura this time it's him so i think i is an is a necessity especially if you use him and if you don't he's a great addition to anyone's team he's the, one of the fastest characters in the game and now he's giving you more tanky abilities and it stacks damage reduction rate stacks so make sure if you guys use a lot of nukes add them to your team okay next one up let's see we have sugetsu now sugetsu is one of the weakest hitting tanks in the game, but is also one of the tankiest characters in the game. So if you're looking for someone to soak damage, he is phenomenal. And this new one actually gives him even more ability. So this one actually increases all active allies' guard rate. Now, if you don't know anything about Sugetsu, Sugetsu already has insane guard rate. And this actually boosts it even further, which stacks. So now it makes him one of the best guard rate characters in the game, next to probably Gara. I always call him Mini Gara for a reason because he has almost similar abilities. So this is something you definitely want on him as soon as you can. So definitely, definitely, guys, get this up. It is one of the better ones. All right, now Jugo. Jugo is a little lackluster. I expected more from him, but he actually, I believe, increases crit suppression rate. Yeah, so he boosts all active allies' crit suppression rate. I think he's now actually become one of the worst tanks out there. He was one of the better ones because of his hybrid abilities, but I think this trait is a little lackluster. I mean, it's great to have, but you have people like Yamato who offer more. So I personally would not focus too much on Jugo, guys. He was great in the start, but he has fallen off quite a bit since. All right, so that's that one. Now I'm going to go back to the list, guys. I apologize. I forgot everyone that's on here. So let's look who else we're missing. Let's go back to the schedule maintenance. We have Haku, Zabuza, Sugetsu, we did already. So, oh yeah, Tsunade, Kabuto, and Haku. And Suge okay, so let's go back to this and look at, let's look at, where is he? Kabuto. Now, I personally like Kabuto's limit. A lot of people don't. Let's take a look here. I, th I personally think it's it's adding more utility to him already. So what he does is he currently lowers a lot of defense, but now he's actually lowering damage reduction rate for all enemy defenses throughout the rest of the battle. Now, this is a very key thing because we need more tank killers, and Kabuto now lowers defense for all units, but also lowers damage reduction rate for tanks. That's huge because he's a T unit, so he's already doing more damage. But now with this, he's actually reducing things even further for the rest of the battle, right? So even if he dies, that, that debuff still applies. So if you're fighting a tank team or anything that's tank heavy in PvE, this is a must have guys, especially if you use Kabuto. So very impressive, I personally love this one. Now Haku, I believe has a very similar LB2. Let's go to it right now. LB2, there he is. See, I haven't got him up. I'm letting Obama Gaming shout out to him to get his uh, his done. Now he lowers damage reduction rate 
for all tactical. So the opposite. He does. He goes from D's to T's instead. So very similar to Kabato's, but he, he does it for tactic, tacticals instead. Now, currently, tacticals aren't being used very often, but there are some very good units like Kirin, Dadara, uh, Tsunade, Jiraiya. So there are a lot of good T units, but a lot of people don't use them very often. But this is amazing for PvE. So highly recommend for PvE, guys. Haku is going to be one of your best, best go-tos, especially for events like Abyss. So great, great LB2 for him as well, too. And then lastly, I think it was Zabuza and Tsunade. So actually, let's go to Tsunade's. There she is. Now, hers was interesting. I actually really like hers. So Tsunade offers recover to all allies HP. So she now gives you more HP recovery, which is insane because she's the best healer in the game. And now she boosts critical rate for active users. That's very impressive, guys. So now you're not only getting a defensive and a heal, but you're also getting an offensive spell. So highly, highly recommended. Probably one of the best LB2s out as well, too. So she deserves it. The Sanian have now gotten even better than before. Unfortunately, Jiraiya still got destroyed under the stick, but Orochimaru and Tsunade definitely upgrades. Really highly recommend getting this one done. And then lastly, Zabuza, which most of us don't use, but some of us do. So I'm going to go through it anyways. Let's see here. Boost own damage increase rate at the start of any turn after an ally has been defeated. Probably the worst one of the bunch. Don't recommend getting this one up unless you really like Zabuza and you want to use him, but definitely the worst one. All right, guys, so that pretty much concludes the list. Now, I want to remind everybody that we do have this spreadsheet here. Shout out to uh, Dash Sword Slash for updating it for me. It is available, everyone. There is a link on my description and in Discord. So feel free to use it, guys. It does go through everyone's list and also tells you what the, the legends are and how to get everyone's LB2s and what's required. So, guys, please definitely use that. It is available to everybody to use. Um, I hope you guys are upgrading those LB2s and enjoying the game even more. Bandai's taking the right the, st the right steps in the right direction, and it's uh, it's refreshing to see the game growing. All right, guys, have a wonderful day.